Hey guys, Rob from the Off Grid Tiny House. Heard China just had a big couple giant earthquakes and then Africa just had a volcano blow off about a couple days later. Um, yeah, so Mother Nature is pretty cranky. Um, normally, volcanoes do erupt after earthquakes. Um, so, I know they're doing like a mass evacuation in Africa, which is absolutely hellish, I guess, right now. Not only because of the sickness going on worldwide, but this now on top. So, holy crap, guys. What a, what a last couple... The last two years have been insane, at the very least. And it ain't over yet. Now, luckily, I have my off-grid tiny house here as my refuge. I've been coming here quite often um, during the sickness... Um, well, during these last two years, because really don't have any place to other other than this to go, and I can get uh, I was getting a lot of stuff done and prepared until you know work dried up as well because of the sickness. Thanks, thanks a lot, China. You hear something else? <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm 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 definitely busy with work now. Um, so I'm squirreling away cash, but in the meantime, I'm also trying to sell, sell and flip stuff here to bring in enough cash to get stuff kind of completed and done here at the Opera Tiny House because guys, I'm, I'm pretty much struggling at this point. Um, you, with YouTube cutting my limbs off with bleeding me dry, um, it's something else. But like I said, I'm going to be making a lot more of these prepping videos. They're popular. They bring in the funds. And you guys are probably sick of... Like, well, we did a little poll. I mentioned in another video. People want more prepping videos from me because they enjoy my content. They're, it's popular. with Some of the most popular of my videos are prepping videos. Nothing to do with Tiny House. Which is kind of funny, but it's kind of sad at the same time. But at least that means these guys, people that are watching um, the prepping videos, they're interested, they like what I have to say, and they're probably, um, you know, th those are the guys that are commenting all the time and uh, telling, telling me their situation and where they're at. Um, there's a lot of people that are now moving into the prepping, into the off-grid, into they're just jumping in two feet head first and a lot of them don't know what the hell they're doing and not to mention um, building material costs have gone through the roof and I feel bad for anyone who's just starting now. Oh my god. Um, gotta take a loan out or a mortgage out if you're going into a lumber yard now. Um, <laughs> I'm not joking on that. Um, it's insanity, guys. Uh, all I can give advice, uh, pallet wood is free and abundant. Scoop it up and use it to the best of your abilities. And really, that's, that's the way to go. Um, if I was in the U.S., I'd have a nice little piece of country property. I'd buy me the biggest Amish shed, prefab shed that you can buy, It'd get delivered and pay it off in installments. Have it, they deliver it, they set it up for you. Um, all you gotta do is insulate, finish it, and I would go full off grid in that thing, solar, finish it off, the whole nine yards, rain catchment, solar garden full-on homesteading um as on the cheap as, as as cheap as i could and then i definitely have to have a part-time job or a full-time job to help pay for all this stuff so that would be the goal if i lived in the states here it's a little different a lot different 
not as free here in Canada as in the US. Um, it's hard to find affordable land here. Unless you go north. And by I mean north, like way up north where it's so cold and miserable and there's nothing there that it's going to make your life miserable. I rather have just be on the outskirts of a small city in the country with a little place off the grid and that would be my dream here. But apparently I'm going to need a lot of win or a miracle before that happens. Because um, there's so many restrictions and rules and bylaws and garbage in my opinion that are impeding our freedoms. Um, and most of the time, you know, the government's always saying, well, climate change, climate change, they're screaming, oh my god. Well, guys, it's pretty hard to battle climate change when you're not allowing people to get off the grid. Yeah. The government seems a little dumb. Or more than a little dumb. Anyways, I'd highly suggest everybody do that. Get a little piece of property out in the country somewhere. Set up a little homestead off the grid. And that's that's the cat's meow, guys. You can have awesome internet now with the Starlink. So you're not going to be missing out on anything. I know in the U.S., um, most cell phone plans in the U.S. have unlimited data. Which means unlimited internet. Which means... You have free unlimited internet on your mobile phone that you're already paying for. And that's pretty sweet. Canada does not have that. We'll never get that. And that's why I chose Starlink to get internet. And that's just the way it is. Completely unaffordable here in Canada to have internet anywhere on your phone. There's no such thing as unlimited data here in Canada impossible so yeah that's just wonderful anyways uh craziness all over the world um and boy oh boy i hope we get through all this i'm just really concerned about uh long-term side effects of these shots because my parents took took the shot and I'm concerned, though they are on the medicine that I make, and hopefully that negates any nasty side effects from these shots. That's all I'm gonna say on that. So I don't get too much, so my videos don't get too censored on here. Pretty crazy. Anyways, that's it for now, guys. Hopefully you guys are doing good. And keep on trucking.